You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. He's brightly striped, as you can see. He lives in a sea anemone. Can you guess what his name might be? I know. It's a clownfish. Right. How did you know? I saw one when Daddy and I went to the zoo. The zoo? Lucky you. Well, that's the end of Ocean Friends. Did you like it? Yes! Yeah! Yes! I did! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Me too! Now, can you guess what time it is? Outside time! Right! So go and get ready. <laughs> Miss Martin, can I take that book home to show my daddy? Please? I'm sorry, but I don't usually lend out books from our class library. They sometimes get lost. I'll be careful. I'll bring it back tomorrow, I promise. Please, Miss Martin? Well, all right. Yay! Thanks, Miss Martin. Caillou knew he had to take good care of the book, so he decided to put it into his backpack right away. But on the way, Caillou got a little distracted. Hey, Caillou! No one's on the swings yet. Come and swing with me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Shade Daddy, Monsieur and Mademoiselle. <laughs> and for tonight's feast, we are serving vegetable et poulet. Mwah! Mmm, good! So, tell us about school today, Caillou. It was fun. Miss Martin read us a book called Ocean Friends, and she even let me bring it home. She almost never lets anyone do that. That's great, honey. She must think you're very responsible. Yeah. What does responsible mean? <laughs> it means she trusts you to be careful. Oh, good. Well, I'd love to see that book. Would you like to read it with me after dinner? Okay. Why, thank you, Princess Butternut. I'd love some more tea. <laughs> Yummy! Daddy, my book's gone. It's not in my backpack. Your book? The one you borrowed? Well, don't panic. I'll help you find it. What was on the cover? An octopus. Octopus? Those see the octopus. You did? Where? Not my book. Maybe we should ask Mommy about it. Mommy, did you take anything out of my school bag? I sure did. And I put it up on the fridge. You're getting to be quite an artist, Caillou. Oh, that's my artwork, not my book. Maybe it fell out of your backpack. Or maybe Gilbert took it. 
He likes fish. <laughs> Gilbert likes fish in his food bowl, not in a book. <sighs> I'm sorry, Gilbert. We've looked everywhere. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up, eventually. But I'm supposed to bring it back tomorrow. Oh. Caillou felt terrible. He didn't want to disappoint Miss Martin. I promised I'd be careful with it. You know, part of being responsible is that if things do go wrong, you try to make it right. Make it right? How? Well, can you think of anything you could do for Miss Martin to try to make up for losing her book? Maybe. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Martin. Uh, Caillou has something to tell you. I'm sorry. I lost Ocean Friends. We looked all over the house, but we just couldn't find it. But I made you a new book. I know it's not the same, but it's all I could think of. Oh, look at this. What a nice thing to do. You must have worked very hard on it. Uh-huh. Well, I have good news for you. <gasps> Ocean Friends! How did you get it? I found it outside yesterday by the swings. By the swings? Oh. I think you forgot to put it into your backpack yesterday. I'm sorry. I thought I did. Huh. <sighs> I guess I'm not allowed to borrow the class books anymore. I wouldn't say that. In fact, after last night, I'm sure you'll be extra careful with it. You mean I can still take it home? <laughs> Yahoo! Thank you! I'll bring it back tomorrow. I double promise. I know you will. And until you do, I know just the place for this one. There. How does it feel to have your book in our class library? Great! But, um, will other kids be able to take it home? Only if it's all right with you. What do you think? Okay, but they have to be really, really responsible. And from that day on, Caillou was very responsible with the class library books. over for the day, and Caillou was very excited because his best friend Leo was coming over to spend the night. We can play tag and hide and seek. Oh, and I have a brand new soccer ball we can play with. Miss Martin, what's in the box? Oh. Do you know what this is? A guy made of bones. We're all made of bones, Leo. You just can't see them because they're underneath our skin. That's called a skeleton. That's right, Caillou. He's a skeleton, and his name is Mr. Bones. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's going to help us learn all about bones tomorrow. But now it's time to go home. Come on, Leo. Coming! Hooray! <laughs> I don't know why he's so slow. Hurry up, Leo! What's wrong? Nothing. Let's go. Caillou could tell that something was bothering his friend. He just didn't know what it was. Want to play soccer? Leo, what's wrong? Tell me. <gasps> Mr. Bones! What happened? Shh. Let's go to your room. Whoa. 
Oh. I was trying to make him walk, and his foot broke off, and then his leg broke off, and then he fell off the desk, and everything broke off. Was Miss Martin mad? She didn't see, and I didn't tell her. Whoa. What are you gonna do? I don't know. We could try to fix him. Mommy and Daddy could help. No, don't tell them. Let's fix it ourselves. Promise you won't tell? Okay, I promise. Now, we're gonna need some glue. Hi, Caillou. <gasps> Are you and Leo making something? Need some help? Um, no, we don't need any help. Caillou and Leo worked very hard fixing Mr. Bones. Done! He doesn't look so good. No, he's fine. sticking, and we've got pieces left over. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Boys, supper's almost ready. Can I come in? Can I ask Daddy to help us? <sighs> okay. What have you got there? It's for school. Mr. Bones got broken, and we're trying to fix him. Can you help us? We'll have supper, and then I'm pretty sure we can put old Mr. Bones back together. First, we're going to give Mr. Bones a bath. Why? To get the glue off. We don't need glue because the parts snap together. See? Oh! We'll start at the top. And you boys can do the rest. We already tried. We got him all mixed up. You just have to look at yourselves to know what piece goes where. The head's on top. Right. What's next? His neck. It's all I could think of last time. The neck is the top part of this. This is his backbone. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a leg. Your head bone's connected to your backbone. Your backbone's connected to your hip bone. Backbone? Hips. <laughs> and that's how we fix Mr. Bones. I think old Mr. Bones looks as good as new. You two did a great job. And now we know where all our parts go. <laughs> <laughs> You'd really be that wobbly if you didn't have any bones. The next morning, Leo and Caillou carried Mr. Bones to school. Very, very carefully. Now all we have to do is sneak him back onto Miss Martin's desk, and she'll never know I broke him. I bet she noticed he was gone. What if she asks where he was? I don't want to lie to Miss Martin. Yeah, me neither. I think you should tell her what happened. I don't think she'll be mad. I hope not. Okay, I'll tell her. Um, Miss Martin? Yesterday I broke Mr. Bones all in pieces. But I took him back to Caillou's house and we fixed him again. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so glad you told me, Leo. Thank you. But the next time you have a problem, you can come to me and I'll help you solve it, okay? Okay. You two did a marvelous job putting him back together. But when Mr. Bones was in pieces, he wasn't really broken. He's supposed to come apart. He's like a jigsaw puzzle. You take him apart and put him back together. That's how we can learn about the parts of the body. He's supposed to come apart? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to help me show the other children how he fits together? Yeah! With a little help from Caillou and Mr. Bones, Leo had learned how to admit to his mistakes.
Yudels. <gasps> oh no! We're trapped in an alien spaceship. Look, there's a way out. The Milky Way shoot. Let's get out of here. Ready, set, go! Woohoo! We did it! We escaped the aliens! Caillou loved playing space adventure with his friend Leo. Some of Caillou's other friends were having a different kind of fun. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. What's so funny? It must be really good since you're laughing so hard. What is it? <laughs> Silly names! <laughs> Silly names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clementine, come here! Clementine, you're a goofy, swoofy head! I'm a what? A goofy, swoofy head! <laughs> the twins didn't notice that Clementine wasn't laughing along, but Caillou did. She was upset. Why are you calling me that? Because <laughs> it's funny! <laughs> Children, time for class. It is not funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> I am not a goofy, swoofy head. I know. I never called you that. Why didn't you do something? You're supposed to be my friend. I don't know. I guess I didn't know what to do. Well, I know what to do. I'm going to ignore the twins. Caillou thought that sounded like a pretty good idea. Okay, if they call you a goofy swoofy head again, I'll ignore them too. <laughs> is going to be the tallest tower ever. Cool. Can I help? Sure. Wow. Look at that. Woo. <sighs> <laughs> Xavier's a bumble swumble head. Bumble swumble head. Bumble swumble head. <laughs> Caillou could see that Xavier was upset, but the twins were once again too busy laughing to notice. <laughs> Come on, Xavier, let's do something else. Caillou thought if he ignored the twins, maybe they would stop. <laughs> Aww. But the twins didn't stop. <laughs> You're all inky. Yeah. Inky, Emma. <laughs> inky, Emma. Simon says, stand on one foot. Bend over and touch your toes. <laughs> Mara, bend too soon. Mara, bend too soon. Mara, bend too soon. <laughs> what do you have today, Caillou? Mmm, my favorite chicken noodle soup. Caillou's has noodles. <laughs> yeah, Caillou's noodles. Caillou's noodles. <laughs> it was home time, and Mommy and Rosie were waiting for Caillou. Toodles, Caillou's. Caillou didn't stop to say goodbye to the twins. He was too annoyed by all their name calling. What's wrong? Tucked in too tight? No. Daddy, what would you do if you didn't like something your friends were doing? Well, it depends. If they really were my friends, I'd probably talk to them about it. You see, friends talk about things. Sometimes it's good to speak up and tell people how you feel. Thanks. <sighs> Daddy, I'm glad we talked about it. The next day, Caillou and Leo were once again playing Space Adventure. Space
Space Officer Leo, are you ready for takeoff? Can we play? Sure! Hop in the spaceship! Okay. Thanks. Are you ready? Three, two, one! Blast off! Into space! Vroom! Let's do a loop-de-loop! A loop-de-loop? <laughs> okay, loop de loop Leo. 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 I don't like that name. Caillou had finally had enough of the silly name calling. He decided to do something about it. I don't like it either. Your silly game is, well, silly, and it hurts people's feelings. Really? I, I didn't mean anything by it. Me neither. We just think it's funny. When something is funny, everyone laughs. Leo isn't laughing. Or Emma, or Clementine, or Xavier, or Mara. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, we're sorry. Right, Jeffrey? We won't do it anymore. But we could still call each other names. That's okay, right? Sure, I guess so. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Jumpy Swampy Jeffrey. Let's go on the swings. <laughs> Ready to go back into space, loop de loop Leo? You got it, Cayudos. <laughs> Caillou realized that silly names can sometimes be fun between friends. He also realized how good it felt to speak up. <laughs>